All right, guys, so if you have a laser engraver that has the uh, auto Z-axis, uh, you know, you have a stepper motor on the Z-axis and you want to be able to to uh, have light burn control your Z-axis along with your X and Y, you have to enable that in light burn, and it's really easy to do. So I have an Atzer L2 36-watt laser, and it has the stepper motor on the Z-axis. So uh, to be able to get that to work, let me show you real quick uh, what you got to do. It's real easy. I'm just going to draw a circle. It's in line mode. So right now, if you come over here, you'll notice that the Z offset and the Z steps per pass are shaded out to where you can't you can't put any values in there. So to be able to uh, to allow you to put values in there, and the way that's going to work is if you come up here to the little wrench icon, or you can come over here to edit. And come down to device settings you're going to see right here in the upper right corner you've got a z control menu and this is all about the z axis so if you enable the z axis and i'm just going to leave everything else here the default um you can experiment around with these other uh boxes here if you want but just for this video we're going to just do the uh the z, just a, the basic control of the z axis and we're going to Enable that, come down here to OK. Now if I come over here, you'll see that these are unshaded to where now I can put a value in there. And the only value that I'm going to worry about is the Z steps per pass. So the way this works, if you have if you have this set to zero, then you have your number of passes set to any value. We'll just say four. Well, the Z axis isn't going to move. So when you set your focal point uh it's going to make four passes the z-axis is not going to move uh on any of those passes well if i come over here and if i set this to say 50 thousandths what this is going to do is you're going to set your focus point it's going to in this case draw a one inch circle and then it's going to drop the z-axis 50 thousandths it's going to draw the circle again. It's going to drop at 50 thousandths, draw the circle again, and then drop at 50 thousandths and draw the circle again. So you have to remember, even though it's four passes, the very first pass, the z-axis is going to be set to whatever you have your z-axis focused at. In this case, on this uh, answer, it's eight mil. Uh, yeah, it's eight millimeters is its focus point. Now it's also got an autofocus, and I'm going to do a video on that also and how nice that works but for this video this is just about you utilizing light burns ability to allow the z-axis to uh, move so actually i think what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna set this to three so this is gonna do one circle drop fifty thousandths do another circle drop fifty thousandths and do, do another circle so it's going to drop a total of a hundred thousandths of an inch by the time it's done so I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'm going to set this. I'm going to set the speed to, I don't know, 5,000. We'll leave that set to 20. And let's go over to the uh, laser and give this a try. Okay, so here we are at the laser. Let's uh, select our file. And... Come down, set it up about right there. Not that we really need it all that straight. And I'll go ahead and hit frame. All right. I'm going to try to set you down real low and close so that you can see the Z axis do its thing. That's the autofocus right there.
Are you seeing that? Now it comes back up. So it did three cuts and it dropped on each one of them. So let's do that one more time just so you can see the, uh, in fact, I'll do it at a di little slightly different angle. And I'm going to remove the laser over just a little bit. Um, I'm just going to hit go on it. I already know I'm close enough for it to do its thing. So. It's auto-focusing. And then it'll start to cut. As the axis went down, went down again, and it come back up. So it did three cuts. The Z-axis dropped two times on each cut. The first cut, obviously, it's not going to drop. Then the second cut, it dropped the 50 thousandths. Third cut, it dropped the 50 thousandths. Let me get that fan turned off. Anyway, just a real quick demo of uh, the Z-axis and the what they call the Z-Sync feature, I believe is what uh, they call it in the book, in the manual, and in the specifications. Uh, just a way to where you can set up in Lightburn to have the z-axis either drop lower or even come up higher and you would use that if you wanted to bring the laser to a different focal length uh, hopefully that made sense you know if you wanted to to bring it up a little bit to kind of take it out of focus sometimes you want to do that depending on what kind of an effect you're looking to get um, or you may want to take that focal point and drop it just a little bit. So you can obviously go up to close to eight millimeters, which this is eight millimeters thick. This is the tool that they send. And that's about how far down you would be able to drop the laser. So if you, if you did a cut in something really tough and you wanted to be able to cut a little bit deeper, you could actually have it drop down up to eight millimeters I'm not going to say eight. Eight is exactly this thickness. Then you'd be getting real close to the uh, limit switch or to the autofocus switch or the material hitting your, uh, your laser itself. So I would actually say I wouldn't go any more than maybe seven millimeters. That way it gives you a full millimeter of clearance. But uh, obviously you could bring it up to what, however high you, you wanted to. So uh, anyway, enough talk. That's the Z-Sync feature of the uh, Atzer laser engraver slash cutter. You guys take care.